the expectations for the new superintendent of Fayette County Public Schools, Emmanuel Kalk, to be a transformational leader in education are high. With nearly 20 years of experience, Mr. Kalk has developed a listening, learning, and leading plan for his first 90 days. So what's his vision for improving student achievement in Fayette County? Well, when you tune into Connections next week, you're going to find out as we have Emmanuel Kalk, Manny, as we like to call him, tell us all about his plans, where he sees things now. He just got here, so we have to give him some time to acclimate, but you do have uh, a, a strategy for how to move Fayette County Public Schools, as you say, from good to great. And can you just briefly <laughs> summarize that? Well, I do. I think you know, the strategy is going to take the, the effort of all stakeholders. It's not just one person, and it's more than just the district. And it's really about creating an environment First, it's a call to action, sense of urgency in the community right. around public education. And then aligning the resources such that we have a pipeline that supports students from cradle through high school, through college, and career. And I think we all have a vested interest in having a healthy, a very strong public education system. Mm -hmm. And all I'm trying to do is create a public education system just as great as our, our city and as great as our county. You are making history in Fayette County as you're the first permanent uh, superintendent of Fayette County Public Schools. We know that Dr. Helm, Marlene Helm, has operated in interim capacities, but I do believe you're the first, the first full-timer that we've had in this role. Does the weight of that assignment and of that title, does that bear heavy on you at all, or do you see it as an influencer in how you'll carry out your job here? No, I, I think, um, I would say actually that applied more to Maine, where mm -hmm. I was the first uh, non-white superintendent in the state ever. And so I, I carried that right. um, burden here. You know, uh, my mother used to say to me, and she's deceased, that no one should have higher expectations for you than you have for yourself. Amen. And so I know um, the work that needs to be done, but I'm also astute enough, wise enough to know I can't do it alone. Yeah. And so understanding that this work is really the work of the community. We need to work together to improve our public education system and improve the outcomes for all students. And all does mean all. And so um, I'm humbled enough through those 20 years of experiences yeah, sure. um, yes. to know that uh, I can't do it alone, but together right. we can. Yeah, well, and I, together we hope too when we're looking forward to the success that we know you're going to have here at Fayette County. And to learn more about Emmanuel Kalk, you got to tune in to see us on 9-11, September the 11th, Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on KET2, and then on Sunday, September 13th, on the main channel, KET. You can watch us at 1.30, and then you can join anytime online. Tune it in at KET.org slash connections. I do hope you'll join us.